Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. So today we have been farming up in the Black Rock Depths and for obvious reasons we have been farming all this stuff up. Now before I go over all of our loot quickly we can then open up our mail banking because I neglected to do that. I will actually show you guys how I actually prefer to run this. Now, overall, we've got a load of different greens. We've got some in our bags right now. And at this moment in time, the mithril, we got loads of lock boxes throughout this one. So they're filling up quite nicely. We got a load of different types of greens, some high value, some not, some, the, basically a nice variety actually. Overall, I was actually pretty chuffed with the amount of variety of different items we actually got from this one. So other than that, what else did we get? Well, we got the Windrunner leggings or leg guards, and we well, we got those. That's not too bad overall. Um, quite happy with that. They, um, they, they don't go for an awful lot. We also got the Battle Chasers Greaves. That's uh, 998 gold uh, on my realm, but the region market value average is around about 7,160 gold. Obviously, my realm is quite low. Now that being the case, we also got the Vile Ren Slicer. Now that one actually comes from du -du -du, one of the rare mobs outside of the actual instance. I killed him and I got it. Yeah, but you basically get it all the time, that's why it's worth so very little. We also got the Judge's Gavel, which is uh, 200 gold in my realm, but the region market value average is 3,298 gold. And the other one is the Runed Golem Shackles. Now that one's 170 gold on my realm, but region market value average uh, is around about 1,999. Now we did get a well, we did get a nice little epic from this, and that is Hurricane. Now th this one has a min buyout of 7,500 gold, or a market value of 6,950 gold, or the region market value average of 9,715 gold. Quite happy with that. It's just a standard level 58 BOE epic that that you can pretty much get from uh, mo most of these dungeons and all that stuff so this one isn't the hurricane is not uh, tethered to a specific dungeon you can actually get this um, in from these types of mobs that are around about this level now that being the case we also got some uh, quite a lot of rune cloth that was 483 of that uh, along with that we also along with that we also got do, 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 no wait we actually got another 1,223 of the rune cloth as well in our back guild bank, so add that together. Now, the other things to note, we got six of portals, we got the seven of beasts. They're just some cards we can sell on the auction house. They don't sell for an awful lot of gold, but they do sell. I started trying to pick up uh, Dark Iron Ore. I figured out that this was a futile attempt afterwards because I just wanted to either focus on one or the other, but you can actually farm it up if you bring your miner with you and you get quite a decent amount. The Dark Iron Ore can drop, obviously, Dark Iron Ore, but also has a chance of dropping Blood of the Mountain, but that isn't very that super reliable to get a hold of. Now, the things of note that you do want to bear in mind is basically it was the BOE epic that we actually got from that and basically a load of greens for padding out on the auction house. So that being the case, let's actually jump into the dungeon and then we can go over how I actually tend to farm this up. Now, so with Black Rock Depths, I like to just start gathering up all of these guys and just come into the first entrance of the map which uh, if I pull up the map right here, it just works quite well for me. Now I gather up all of these guys on the sides. I do tend to skip a couple of mobs, so to speak, but it's really not overly bad overall. So what I tend to do is just, I gather up all of these guys in the first part. So if we pull ourselves back up on the map, we go all the way around here and then we can then go all the way over to Golem Mag, I think is his name, his name is Bailgar, and we can make our way over to him. Now, I always make sure that I have my Tiger Dash on cooldown by that point, and it's just about to come off. I do like to grab mobs with my Soothe ability when I'm grabbing my Druid, so by the time this pack of mobs over here, I don't have to run to that, I can actually just Soothe them while they're coming, and then they can keep following me. 
Now around about this area here, I start my Tiger Dash because this will be off of cooldown for the next Tiger Dash, which will be going down. And I tend to find that works really well. I actually pressed it a little bit earlier, otherwise I would have Tiger Dashed um, as soon as we were about to go around the area. So we open the gate and they're all still following. They won't drop aggro like some dungeons. If you try and gather them all up, it, you can lose aggro. So just be aware of that. But other than that, I have not had a problem with BRD uh, for actually gathering up loads of mobs. Now you don't want to keep going this way. All you want to do is just gather up the dudes over here. Now, obviously there's dark iron ore all over the place in here. And it gets to about this point here. And then we can then tiger dash for our next wet. And then all we gotta do is just gather up the rest of the mobs, which is da 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 da. We just grab those. We should really pull up our loot appraiser just to double check what's actually going about. So that's okay, I guess. <laughs> and the next part is to just use Soothe on that last pack of mobs and we run towards the boss because I just use him as a reference point. You don't really need to kill him, to be honest, because you really just want all of the trash loot, but. You know, if he's there, you might as well because you can vendor some of his stuff for quite a lot of gold. And then all we got to do is just loot up, and then it's apparently lagging a little bit. And then we'll see what we actually get. And overall, it's we'll see how much we actually got for that one pull overall. So, that being the case, we got about 1143 gold's worth of stuff. We can then press destroy, destroy all of that stuff and we don't want the ring. I don't like selling rings, preferably, so I leave them out. I usually just will bend those because at the end of the day, um, yeah, I don't really care for selling rings. You can if you want, but I tend to not. So we run back to the instance, and I've actually got this down to like muscle memory now of where I'm actually going. I don't even need to pay attention. I just turn, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And other than that, we just come out and we reset the instance and we jump back in. So that's how I would do an actual run of BRD. I do my 10 runs and then overall just see how many loot we actually get. And at the moment, what the battle pet dude is right outside, so it's kind of handy for me at this moment just to be able to vendor all of my stuff. And I, as that, then I can just vendor all that stuff to there. And that force, a magma mace, two-handed mace, is eight gold for one, and for obvious reasons, that's kind of helpful. So overall, we got quite a lot of transmog throughout our runs. It was roughly three hours, so I'm okay with that. And yeah, overall, it, was it actually worth it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was quite fun. It was about half an hour to do the a full clear, and then obviously you got to wait an hour before the lockout resets. But overall, it was definitely well worth it in just building up our transmog stockpile and all of that jazz. And I'm quite happy that I actually managed to get a hold of the hurricane. So that being the case, let's jump over to the gold for the day. Okay, so now the gold for the day is a healthy 12,068 gold. Not mega bucks like what we made yesterday, but that was over the course of a few days. And what we actually managed to sell is maroon ink, 409 of those for 8,301 gold. The other thing of note is maroon ink once again, 83 for 1,684 gold. So not too bad, sold some deep sea bags and all that jazz. So let's pull that all in. We are definitely over the 1 million mark. So yay. <laughs> and that's our 1,006,333 1, gold overall. So kind of happy on that. We're just building up our stockpile of all of our other stuff. So overall, I'm quite happy with the way things are going thus far. So now it's just a case of building up our stockpile on the rest of our other stuff that we're going to be doing. And I'm probably, I'm torn between what I'm actually going to be doing for my transport farming. Uh, I'm going to have to flip a coin thus far because I don't know whether I should do jump over to some BC stuff as well. But um, other than that, we're doing quite well. There is one question, however, I would like to ask you guys. And we, me and Callan, are basically going over the next version of Worth It. It's got a lot of changes into this. Uh, a lot has been changed, like 
things like I'm going. I don't, I don't want to give too much away, but custom price sourcing is a thing in there, and we're building up some new modules. Now, one of the new modules, however, is some battle pet stuff. Now, I primarily will find it a lot harder to actually get it, gather all of that data, so that I actually need a kind of bit of a hand. So if you so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be posting a list in the announcements section and other than that I need people to do those farms and then use the worth it recorder to record how that farm went for that particular hour and then the only thing for the battle pets that I would say however is once you've actually done the farm could you edit the farm in the editor part of worth it and just add the caged pet in instead of the other one just so we can get a variance on how things are actually going about and how many you've got per hour so that'd be really helpful overall i will be posting all of the information in the announcements page and where you can post uh, your exports from worth it towards me to help build this module out and flush it out properly so other than that guys that's pretty much all i have to say today i'm going to be doing a nice little bit of coding on that part and um, well, everything seems to be doing quite well so that being the case let's get back on to some gold making and some coding but other than that guys have an awesome rest of the day and i shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow